Hey guys, we just had a great night's sleep at our Boondockers Welcome north of St. Louis. And that's where we're heading, downtown St. Louis. And I know what you're thinking. We've heard several of our friends say, be careful when you go to downtown St. Louis. Uh, and we've even heard it on the news this morning. Yeah, the news was a little scary this morning, let me tell you. Now to the violent weekend in St. Louis, six people have died. At least 15 others were injured since Friday. Police tell Five on Your Side officers responded to more than 600 calls citywide in a 12-hour period beginning Saturday afternoon. 173 of those were in downtown alone. Cross her fingers and say a little prayer. We're, we're going to go see what something Lynn's wanted to see for quite a while. We're going to the Gateway Arch. And we have tickets to go up in it, so I'm super excited about that. Yeah, and uh, it's another national park we want to mark off our list. So we're going to let you know how safe it is in downtown St. Louis. Let's so, so wish us luck. Yeah, let's go. So we're taking the tram ride to the top of the arch, and to go up, you have to go down. <laughs> So be sure when you come to the arch that you take the time to go see the museum that's underneath the arch. It's free. Now the coming on the property itself is free, so the national park is free. It does cost you, we had a national park pass and therefore it only cost us $12 to go up to the top. And I think it's something like uh, $15 to $18 if you don't have the pass. You can check that out on their website. The museum is free, so there's a lot to do free if you're not wanting to go to the top. Uh, and definitely worth checking it out, getting up there. We went all the way to the top of the arch, way up there. And then, it was really cool, guys. If you ever come to St. Louis, go to the top of the arch. Yeah. If you're a little claustrophobic, you might have a problem with the pods, but it was great, and you'll be glad you did, because it's super cool up there. Took four minutes to get to the top. It's 630 feet tall, and just three minutes to get down to the bottom. Yeah, so. and you don't stay up there very long. They, they limit your time up there. Also, when you come here, they have security that's equal to that of the uh, airport. You have to empty your pockets, take off your belt, go through metal detectors, which someone who went to the top of the arch, we're grateful for that. Yeah. <laughs> so while you're uh, walking around exploring the arch, you'll notice off to the north is the old cathedral. It's one of the most historic buildings in St. Louis. It has roots dating back to 1764. Check it out. One of the things we couldn't do because they're right in the middle of a remodel, was see the old courthouse. But we hear it's a great place to go in and explore. So it's part of the National Park. Check it out when you're there. So 
know, we were going to do burgers down the street, and then we were walking down that sidewalk, and we smelt this place and turned around and came back. We really enjoyed our lunch, and we highly recommend Sugar Fire Smokehouse. So we think there's plenty enough to do in St. Louis that you need to stay at least two days. Uh, we could have actually gotten in a third day, except we just don't have it. We've got to move on. But today we are going downtown to see the zoo and a museum, which are free by the way. So day two, we're at the zoo. <laughs> and here's a tip for you, it's free. You know how we like free. Let's go. So far, we've been to two exhibits, zero animals. So you know if they have to put up a sign that says, no swimming. At some point, someone has tried to go swimming with the rhino in the, in the pond. So I'm still looking for some wildlife. Danny, what? look behind you. So as you see behind me, they have a dinosaur exhibit. There is an extra charge for it, but it's here until November of 23. So if you get here before then, you can pay your little fee. We don't know what it is because we didn't, we didn't want to go see the dinosaurs. Uh, then you can take your children to see it. Like elephants. You named it Elvis? Yeah. Here's a little tip for you. If you go out the north gate at the zoo, you will only be a very short walk from being at the art museum and Forest Park. They have a wonderful view up on the hill of Forest Park and all there is to see. So there's so many things to do free here in St. Louis. Uh, we've been enjoying uh, Forest Park to our left here. And another great free thing is the art museum. We're fixing to go enjoy that. We'll let you know what we see. To my friends from Tennessee. So this is um, Forest Park and um, our art museum is the only original building left standing from the 1904 World's Fair. There's three levels here. Um, you've entered on the second level, which is the main level. We have a new wing um, over here towards the east, and that has more contemporary modern art special exhibits over there. More of our traditional art is over through here. We've got a map that can tell you where those locations are. We have two um, uh, museum stores. The main one is downstairs next to a cafe, and then the for more formal restaurant is over in the new wing, and there's also a gift shop over there. So. The museum was really interesting, but Danny and I have determined we're not really museum type people, if you know what I mean. So we just kind of went in and out and through a few rooms, but they did have a great restaurant and we had a really nice lunch there. So we'll recommend that. Okay, so let's talk about the zoo. The zoo was free and for a free zoo, it was pretty good. However, um, a lot of the exhibits, or several of the exhibits, I should say, were closed. And it may be because of the heat, because today is an insanely, I think it's got to about 89 today. And so a lot of the animals, we didn't see a single bear. We didn't see a single monkey. And I think it's just too hot for them to be out and they're probably back in the shadows somewhere underneath a rock or something like that, trying to stay cool. And we like the lions, tigers, and bears. So I know at some point this was rated the number one free zoo in the entire country. Don't know if that's still true or not. Cincinnati Zoo is still our favorite. So did we feel safe in St. Louis? I would say yes, as long as you stay on the main drags where all the tourist stuff is at, I think you will be fine. Yep, uh, I think we felt sketchy in one area we walked uh, when we left the, the restaurant on the first day. 
back through, cutting through the, the city to see the city garden. And uh, like I said, that, that felt a little sketchy. Yeah, there. that felt a little sketchy. And our advice to you is we'll tell you the same thing everyone told us, get out of the city before dark fall. We've now been to another national park and it's time to scratch it off our poster. So excited. Uh, Gateway Arch, here we go. So there's another one off our list on our national parks. We're gonna hit four more national parks this summer. If you wanna know which ones they are, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. Until next time, God bless and many safe travels. And go RV America.